Hi everybody, John Reyes here with Social Networks and I want to welcome you and thank you for joining us today on this webinar presentation along with Century 21. Now as many of you know, Century 21 and Social Networks have teamed up to make sure that Century 21 members have access to the very best trainings out there. Now as a technology training organization, we have had the distinct honor of being able to travel across the country. And I'm in a new state literally every 10 days sharing and talking about the power of technology for the real estate industry. Now, two days ago, we just finished a tremendous event out in Southern California. And we had one of the top real estate brokers that's in the business talking about and sharing what's really impacted his business and how he's really built his brand. We had some other top name speakers, other realtors from up north, Northern California, who are on TV, who've really done extremely well built a brand for themselves, but ultimately the theme of everything that they talked about, and it was a training that started at 8 in the morning and ended at 4 p.m., everybody was talking about technology. It was all about technology. Everybody had their own little piece and part of it. And I share this with you because today what I want to do is provide you a technology update, a technology update for both brokers and agents. And if you've already had the opportunity to join us on a training in the past, then you know one thing that I harp on is the fact that the industry, the market will dictate what you need to do in order to stay relevant. And this is true for both brokers as well as real estate agents. And right now we have a younger home buyer. And even if the home buyer in your area is not in their early 30s like it is across the country, that's perfectly fine. I think it is safe to say that one thing that we do know is that consumers are just becoming more comfortable with technology. Now, for example, how many of you right now, when you're out there going from property to property, are you still using a paper map? Do you know anybody in your family who's using a paper map? Most likely not. Now, the maps have been replaced with mobile technology, and I'm specifically referring to GPS. Most of us all have smartphones, and if you have a smartphone, you can get from point A to point B with a device where it simply tells you step by step where to turn and where not to turn. It's almost impossible to not get lost. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. It's almost impossible to get lost unless you're just not really paying attention. Now, see, I emphasize the importance of mobile technology and just technology, period, because sometimes I think as real estate professionals, we think only about real estate related apps. And if we step outside our daily activities for just a moment, we'll realize it's not just about what we are dealing with. It's not just about the, the applications that we're being introduced to, but it's the general consumer. It's just people, period. So if you're not a real estate professional, if you have any family or friends who are not agents, think about them and think about how many of them use mobile technology, GPS specifically. Because what I'm getting at is the fact that consumers are just becoming so much more comfortable with this technology that that's really changed the game. Another application, and this isn't an application for you to necessarily go and download, I just want to share with you. There's an app called Duolingo, and this is an application that's really changing the way that people learn communication or languages. Now, I in high school, I took three years of Spanish. And when I got out of Spanish class after three years, I couldn't speak it pretty much any more than when I had initially started. Sure, I knew some words, but I couldn't really put sentences into context. Now, as of right now, my wife is learning German. Her father is from Germany. She's taken it upon herself, as well as my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, to all learn German. And by simply using this Duolingo application, while we were heading on out to Vegas, which is about a three-hour drive from where we live, by the time that we got to Vegas, they were already sharing back and forth sentences with each other. Duolingo has been noted to be one of the most effective training programs out there. Even better if you had somebody sitting there with you one-on-one. -on -one. And from what I understand, don't quote me on this, but from what I hear, this is highly rated much more than any of the popular softwares that you can buy out there for $500, $600. So if you wanted to learn a language, download Duolingo. But again, I'm just showing you the impact to say this has nothing to do with real estate. If I'm talking about using GPS, nothing to do with real estate. I'm talking about learning a language, nothing to do with real estate. Let's take it one step further. Now we talk about communication overall. So as we're talking about communication here, I am referring to 
the evolution of communication. It starts off with us speaking to each other, then we're typewriting, right? We're writing on a typewriter, then we're producing books, email, now it's social media, Twitter, but this is what it's turned into. How many real estate agents, when you call them, they have a message that says something like this, for a faster response, text me. I am seeing that more and more across the US as I'm connecting with real estate agents, and I think it just further edifies the fact that technology has been ingrained in what we do in society so much so that you cannot get away with it. And that's my point is that I want to make sure that everybody understands this is not about real estate applications. This is just to reinforce that the people that you're already working with are much more comfortable and familiar with technology. Now, what can you do as a real estate agent? What can you do as a real estate broker to make sure that you're accommodating your market? Now, I know that technology is moving so quickly, it's moving so rapidly that if you do not get up to date or get get what you need in place as of right now to build a solid foundation, unfortunately, what may happen is you may ultimately miss your opportunity, your chance. So, for example, I just headed on out to New York a few weeks ago and I left where I live three hours early just to head on out to the LAX airport. And when I was on my way there, it should have been about an hour drive, maybe an hour and 10 minutes at the most, but it ended up being more than three hours. So as I was heading on out to LAX, I was so close to missing my flight that when I parked my car in the shuttle and took the shuttle, my boarding was already taking place. The boarding for my plane was already taking place. Ultimately, what ended up happening is there was a huge line in security. I had nothing to lose. I asked everybody if I could go ahead of them. Everybody but one lady had allowed me to do so. I think the lady, though, she felt a little bad because she did end up changing her mind and said, yes, go ahead. But because I was able to rush through and I grabbed my bags and I ran all the way to the gate and I ran all the way where I did not stop to the gate, as soon as I turned the corner, the lady then grabs the microphone and she speaks to somebody on the inside of the plane and she said, Mr. Reyes is here. And I said, oh my goodness, you know it's bad when people know your name. Those people should never know your name. That obviously means that they're calling out to you. But I was so close to missing my flight, about 180 seconds after I got on the plane, the door closed and there was one passenger that did miss their flight. I was very close to missing my flight. And I look at that how, on how that could be relevant to real estate agents and real estate brokers missing their opportunity to build their foundation now. And if you're in a good place right now, if you're generating business, if you're recruiting agents, or if your business is exploding as of right now, that is a good thing. And you want to make sure that you continue doing the things that you're doing that have helped you get there. But at the same time, if we just look at the market trends, we can see where we need to make sure that we're filling in the gaps. So a perfect example, I like to show all agents and brokers this, and I pretty much now show this at every event that I go to, is I show a Blockbuster card. And the reason I show this is because many of you maybe had a Blockbuster in your area, so you know what I'm speaking about. In the event that you did not have a Blockbuster in your area, that's perfectly fine. But what it comes down to is this, Blockbuster at one time was the most dominant video rental place in the business. They had over 9,000 stores, they had over 60,000 employees, and they were the number one company in the market. Now with that, there came a little arrogance and a small company had come on up to Blockbuster and they had said, look, with the advancements of mobile technology, one of the things that we think that people are going to want to do is to download and stream mobile videos directly on their devices. Now this was before mobile devices became as popular as they are now, but this small company had the foresight to be able to see the trends as to where they were going. So the response from both the CEO and the chief operating officer of Blockbuster was basically that if anybody was going to create any mobile products for the video rental market, that they were going to be the ones that were doing it. They were number one in the business. Nobody knew the market better than them. And as a result, what ended up happening, because they did not stay focused and really pay attention to what the market was saying, Blockbuster ended up filing bankruptcy. Another company purchased Blockbuster to try to try to bring them out of bankruptcy, but that was a dismal failure. And that small company, if any of you know who I'm talking about, that small company has a market capitalization today of more than $5 billion, and that is, of course, Netflix. Now, again, I share this with you to just really reinforce the, the fact that mobile technology is something that's not going to go anywhere. It's going to become more ingrained in your business each and every day where last week I was just in New Jersey. And when I was in New Jersey, I was speaking at an event for a trade organization for real estate. And as I was out there, the local mayor happened to stop by our event. The mayor came on up to me and she was asking me, so what do you do 
what do you train on? What do you speak about? What do you teach about? And I was explaining to her and she said, is this only for real estate? I said, absolutely not. The, the principles of what we teach are fundamental. They're fundamental principles that can be used in any business. In fact, that's one thing that we did as a company as we were developing our curriculum for the real estate industry is that we would work as consultants to other companies or other industries as well. And then she had asked me if I would be willing to come back to New Jersey to be on a local TV show so that way I could talk about how technology can help local business owners improve their business. And I think that that's very telling. It's very telling to say that these things here that we're discussing are just, again, becoming so ingrained that it's not just about real estate. And I know I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I really want to break the point here because I think if we get that, then we're going to be able to be even more impactful for the rest of this training. And pretty much everything that I'm going to share with you or everything that I'm going to talk about is going to be brand new as well. So this is all brand new information, but here's what it ultimately comes together. Here's how it all comes together. If you look at what you do as a real estate professional, you're out there, you're promoting, you're marketing, you're passing out flyers, you're passing out door hangers, you're speaking to people, you're talking to people, and you're building relationships with people. You're doing a good job with your clients, and of course, you want to be able to get your clients to recommend you. Back in the olden times, we might ask a client to write a really nice review, and that might then go on our website. But at, the problem is, is driving traffic to that website. How do you get people there in the first place? People might not necessarily come to your website and find and read your reviews. So now a new way that consumers are finding real estate agents, and this is a trend that is continuing, and we, we anticipate that it's going to continue for quite some time, is an application or a web service called Yelp. So let me just give you an example. Yelp is a review site, and this is where I recommend everybody on this call. As a broker, you should create a Yelp account for your company. As an independent agent, you should create a Yelp account for you as an agent. And what you ultimately want to do is you want to get your clients to produce reviews for you on this website. So when we were at our event a couple of days ago, we did a live demonstration. I'll do one right now. I'm going to go ahead and take my iPad. And what I'm going to do with my iPad, and I'm going to turn the screen on over so you can see my iPad, is I'm going to make it so that way I search for an agent in my local area. So let's go ahead and pull that up quickly. So now that I have my iPad, and this could also be done on a mobile phone as well, I'm going to utilize the Siri service. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say something like, find me a real estate agent in Claremont, California. Let's go ahead and do this. Find me a real estate agent in Claremont, California. I found 15 real estate agencies in Claremont. Now the very first one that comes up on the list is a real estate agent by the name of Jacob Swodek. Now this is a real estate agent out here in our area that's really setting the trend for Yelp. And he's outranking pretty much everybody in the markets that he services. And if you look at the screen right now, you see a bunch of little red dots. Those are supposedly real estate offices, but I say supposedly because most real estate agents don't have a Yelp account set up in the first place. And so what's happening is that Yelp is showing apartment complexes or condo condominiums instead or lenders. And what I spoke about the other day, and of course we had Century 21 offices where we were speaking at. We had a bunch of other uh, brands there. And, I, and there were some people saying, oh, I got an office with 150 agents or I got 132 agents. I said, out of all the people in this room, there's one realtor who is standing out amongst everybody else. And that is Jacob Swodek. He's number one on Yelp. And the, the whole idea about this, the whole thing about it is that he's in a position where if you notice he had four stars, I'm just clicking on some of these other ones here. We have Gordon and Associates and I, I, we look at his again, we have nine stars. But uh, what, what's happening is that as of right now, this particular real estate agent is generating about four new legitimate business leads each and every week. And he's actually a good buddy of mine, a good friend of mine, and we talk about technology all the time. And he's obviously a forward thinker. But this is how people are now starting to find their real estate agents. And if you think about it this way, how many of your clients have smartphones? How many of them have the iPhone? How many of them have the Siri feature? Or how many of them have a Droid device where now Droid, Google, is out there mimicking exactly what Siri is doing in the first place, which where you can talk and it produces the results. So I think it's just... Yeah, it's remarkable because we can look at it to say this is not doing anything that you're not already doing. Your clients are looking for agents. They're not solely relying on the actual door hangers. So everybody needs to make sure that they create an account with Yelp. 
You, there are certain things that you can do to be strategic, but four new leads, legitimate leads each and every week, that's pretty dang good. That's 16 new leads per week, and this real estate agent in our territory right now has over 40 listings. So what we're saying, we know it's proof of concept, we know that it works, and what we're doing with Social Networks is we are an online training organization. As many of you may already know, we've teamed up with Century 21, and what we're doing is we're making sure that we put together the structured plan in place so that way every Century 21 uh, member who is a part of our service has an opportunity to get the step-by-step -step breakdown as to exactly what you can do here. And I'll give you more details on this program as we end our presentation here. But again, this all comes back down to you're out there, you're marketing, you're trying to find sellers, you're trying to find real estate agents, or you're, I'm sorry, you're trying to find clients that want to find a real estate agent. What can you do in order to put yourself at the forefront? So my emphasis is that a lot of the times real estate agents and brokers will say, well, what you're doing is like, you know, maybe something I should look at if I wanted to add to, but I'm really doing okay and well with what I have right now. And you can just really see where the market trends are going. If you see as consumers finding real estate agents the way that I just showed you right now, then what we could probably anticipate is that this is going to become more of a normal trend. Think about how many of you buy on Amazon. I just bought a new charger the other day because I left my charger when I was actually in New Jersey. And when I bought my charger, I went online and the first thing I look at is the reviews. So I look at a two and a half star and I look at a four and a half star. Why well, spend more money, almost double the price for the four and a half star because I don't want to have to deal with sending it back. I don't want to have to deal with the problems. And that's what consumers are becoming more comfortable with. It's more of a peer pay based type referral system and these peers are not necessarily really their peers they're their online peers you know people that they don't even know but it's a trust factor it's the same reason why savvy consumers do not click on paid Google ads so if you conduct a search for something on Google how many of you click on the paid ads I never click on the paid ads I never click on the paid ads because the way I think about it is that if you're having to pay to be here well, then you're having to pay to be here and it's not organic. It's not more legitimate. And so I want to find the more legitimate ads. The other application that I want to talk to you about is called Layer. Now, let me explain this to you. Many of you right now are out there passing out door hangers or you're passing out flyers or something along those lines. And that's totally fine. But what if you had an opportunity to bring your flyer to life? So what, what does that mean? Let me just explain to you and then I'm going to give you a live demonstration on how this works. You can take your flyer that you're passing out, your door hanger, and you can use different applications and utilize augmented reality. Now that sounds a little crazy and what I have to do is I just got to give you a, a, an explanation or I got to give you a visual on how this works because when I first heard about it, it didn't make sense to me. But I have a flyer here in front of me and I'm going to pull up this application called Layer. And as soon as I pull up Layer, you'll see exactly what I have and you can see on my screen here, there is my flyer. And I'm placing this application right over my flyer and it actually says point and scan. And again, this is a layer application and you'll notice it says social networks. I have a little computer screen on the bottom right. And what I'm now going to do is press the screen to see if I can go ahead and scan. Let's see if this works. And now you'll notice, look at my flyer. This is showing up on my iPad. My flyer turned into where I could see a like button. I can see a call me now button and I'm moving my iPad just to show you that as I move it, it still stays in frame. And what I now have is on the bottom right, I actually have a little image where if I click on that, it's going to open up my YouTube video. My get social with c21.com. Or if you look, you also have a like us now. So I can go ahead and like my Facebook page. Or I could even put a call now, a uh, call now action button. Now, if I touch that call now button, it'll immediately call my office. So again, what I'm doing here is I am bringing my flyer to life. I'm looking at my iPad and I have buttons on my iPad that I can now touch because I have a paper flyer here. Here's my paper flyer. Here's how we're bringing it to life. It's just amazing on how this works. Again, this is called augmented reality. And it's a little new, it's new technology. You can see maybe what I'm doing with this, but let me explain to you where this is going. This application layer is one of the first ones that we had come across. So we took our flyer and we put some call to action buttons there. Call us now, like our Facebook page, or watch our video. So if you have flyers yourself, if you have door hangers that you're passing out, what if you had a door hanger 
with a little video that pops up and somebody touches it and you say, Hi, John Ray is here with Century 21 out here in the beautiful city of Rancho Cucamonga. Thanks so much for checking out my flyer. How much cooler is that than you passing out your typical door hanger? See, we're not saying get away from the basics. You're out there door knocking, passing out flyers, continue doing that. All we're saying is that now there's a hybrid that you cannot ignore. And that hybrid is a mixture between your normal technology or your normal marketing efforts and new technology to create an entirely new experience. And when I say that there's other applications out there, there's another application that I had come across that I saw. And what it does is that it allows you to take your iPad or your mobile phone. It doesn't matter if it's a Droid, doesn't matter if it's an iPhone, doesn't matter if it's an iPad, tablet, whatever. You place it over an image and it brings a video to life right away. So how cool would that be to, for you to have a for sale sign? Somebody walks on up, they place their mobile phone in front of it, you come out talking saying, hi, thanks so much for checking out my property and go straight into the virtual tour. So again, I know that many of you who are on this call, you're gonna go ahead and be able to watch this over and over, but I just opened up the app again, placing it right over my flyer, and you can see as I move my flyer around, you can see the actual buttons here. I think it's just absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to touch this like us, see what happens here. Takes us directly to our Facebook page. How cool is that? Type, touch, just, all you got to do is just touch it. You go directly to the Facebook page to like the actual page. Again, guys, this is new technology. Social networks is at the forefront. I've never met one agent who even has ever done anything like this. And what we're doing is we're really trying to set the new standard. Actually, what we're doing is we're setting the new standard. We want to set it with more agents to be able to say, okay, I see how this works. I see how it all makes sense. And I see how I could all tie it together. There's another application I want to share with you again, that layer that I, or the application that I downloaded here is called Layer, L-A-Y-A-R, A-R as in augmented reality, L-A-Y-A-R. Okay, so the first application we talked about was Yelp. Second one is Layer. And again, the purpose of this call is to be a technology update. Update me on technology and show me how does this all make sense. As real estate brokers, one thing I want you to make sure or one thing I want to emphasize with you is that the agents that are packing out our houses are the closing agents. Agents who are closing, making $100,000 a year or more, these are the ones that are packing out our houses because they are the forward, they tend to be the early adopters, the forward thinkers to say, okay, new technology, let me see if it makes sense. Will it help my business? Something I need to tie into. And a lot of the other agents, the ones that are not necessarily producing where they want, sometimes they sit back and say, well, let me see if it you know works for Susie. And if, as soon as it's working for Susie, all of a sudden you're behind the eight ball. So I say this to the brokers and I say this to agents to say if you're not where you need to be don't wait for Susie don't wait for Jim it's time for you to just jump on it yourself make sure that you can take advantage of this okay one other app I want to show you it's actually called where is it at here it is hold on we're gonna pull it up title FX if you look right here title FX FX now I will provide you the droid version this is the iPad okay this is the iPad version right here title FX and here's what it allows us to do you have a new listing or you just sold a property. Well, what's one of the first things you're going to do when you get a new listing? You're going to take a photo of that property. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo of the property and then I'm going to make it look really, really cool. And I'm going to then put it on my Facebook page. Here's how I do it. First thing I do is I open up the title effects application. And as soon as the application opens up, I have some options here. I can look at my most recent photos, choose photos from my photo library. I could even take a photo. I'm going to go ahead and select photo library. I already took a photo of my property. So let's go ahead and touch photo library. As soon as I touch photo library, I'm gonna go ahead and select camera roll. As soon as I select camera roll, I'm now going to select a photo. Now a photo of my property. Now if you're looking at my photos here and you're, you're wondering why I have a couple photos of these celebrities, the last couple times I flew to New York and New Jersey, they were on my plane, Gwen Stefani and Wade Robson. He was just on TV that morning, he was on my plane. Okay, so here's my photo, not that you care, photo of my property. Let's go ahead and select this. Now here's my home. Here's a home that I'm selling. Brand new, new listing. With title effects, what I can do is that I look at the words and it says double tap to edit. So I'm going to double tap the screen. As soon as I double tap the screen, now I can type in some information. So I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see, Rosie, the realtor. Rosie Realtor. Okay. Now I'm going to click done in the top right corner. As soon as I click done, you'll see that I have the text right on the screen. What's cool about this is that I can now touch this text here. And as soon as I touch it, I can move it wherever I want on the screen. 
Now, if you look on the bottom, there are some different options and icons. And honestly, guys, you cannot break this. Just open up the app, start playing around with it. You'll see how simple and easy it is to use. It's very intuitive. But if I touch the first F, you will see what the options are. So now what I see is that I can change the way that the actual text looks. So I'm going to stick with this text right here. Let's go ahead and touch the two A's right next to it. I really don't even know what these do. And now I do. Okay, I can change the size. I can change the angle, character spacing, line spacing. Let's just go ahead and change the size. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this little icon here. I'm going to drag it to the left or I'm going to drag it to the right. Make it bigger or smaller. What if I wanted to make it, uh, I want to change the angle on this. Drag it to the left. Drag it to the right. We're going to go ahead and keep this one. We'll keep it straight as we can. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to touch down here to the little three dots. This is going to allow us to change the color. We can touch the FX right next to it. This will allow us to maybe put some shades behind it, some shadows, whatever we want to do there. I'll just go ahead and stick with uh, the this one here. And then let's touch this last one. This last one's really cool. This is an actual border. It's a border behind my image. So you can go ahead and play with one of the borders that you like. One of the ones that I like personally is the black fade too because I think it fades really well. And what I would do is take my name here, Rosie Realtor, place it towards the bottom of the screen here. So let's go ahead and just place it towards the bottom of the screen. Bam, here we go. Now let's just quickly add one more. This is a brand new listing, so I'm gonna put just listed. Touch the screen again. As soon as I touch the screen, you have this little tool in the top. Let's touch that little tool and it says new title. You cannot screw this up. Now as soon as you click on new title, you add it right below the other title. So if you notice, I have a title down here. I added Rosie Realtor here. Just go ahead and double tap that. And what we can do now is change the text. So we're gonna go ahead and change the text from Rosie the Realtor to, uh, we'll just put just listed. Now that I have it just listed, I'm going to click done in the top right corner. Now I'm going to keep everything looking the same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the two A's on the bottom here. And the reason I'm going to touch those two A's is because now I want to change the angle a little bit. Change the angle like this. I'm going to drag this up to the top left corner. And now what I did is I created, I think, a work of art. Just listed, Rosie the Realtor. I'm going to touch the screen, top right corner. You have the little square with the arrow. That's an action button. As soon as you touch that there, look what I can do, guys. I can send this to my photo library or I can share this on my Facebook page. Could even put it on my Tumblr or my Twitter or I could even text this to somebody. So what is the purpose of me showing this to you? You are already getting new listings or you're selling properties. This is just an additional way to bring together the marketing efforts of you doing what is considered to be normal or traditional is you would send out postcards. This is like the, an online postcard. And of course, you can decorate it more. You can put more information on this. You can put your name, you can put your cell phone number, you can put all of that. But I just wanted to quickly give you the idea and share with you as to what you can do. I just tapped Facebook right there. And as soon as I tap Facebook, I could type in a message if I wanted to. If I type in the message and then if I want to go ahead and send it, I can send it directly to Facebook. And now I'm able to save or share my photo on my Facebook account. Now, if any of you are thinking, or maybe even if you're not thinking, one of the most common problems from real estate agents is that you tend to forget your passwords. You know, you create an account with Layer, or you create an account with Yelp or Facebook, Twitter, and sometimes we forget our passwords. And most of the time, I know a lot of real estate agents tend to forget their passwords for like their access to their MLS, those kind of things. So this is kind of just a little bonus for you all being on this call today. There's an application called Keeper. And Keeper is an application that is considered to be one of the safest applications for you to protect your passwords. It's actually called, considered, number one password protector app. And it has the same military type security that the government uses and for whatever that's worth. But ultimately what it means is that you create one password, one password only for your Keeper account. That's it, so you only have to remember one. And what you can do is that you can then create an account with Keeper and you could say, okay, well, let me create a social media folder. And when you create this social media folder, you add your usernames and passwords for your various accounts, including Facebook, Yelp, YouTube, and all that. So let's just say that I came on over here and clicked on Facebook. If I clicked on Facebook, I would then have my information. So for example, of course, this is a fake account, but what you'll see is that you'll have all the information that's available to you here. And in the event that you do forget your password, that's not a good thing. 
because if you do forget your password, you can set the security so that way after three attempts or maybe even five attempts, Keeper will blow up. And of course, not your iPad, but the, the application will blow up within your, app, within your iPad or your mobile device. And what happens is that you will not be able to access your information anymore. It will disappear from the system. So this is done to protect you and it's done just to make sure that in the event that somebody's trying to hack in or steal your account information, they will not be able to. So this is a fantastic application. I wanna make sure that everybody has access to this here. Keeper, it's completely free of charge. It does not cost you a thing. Now I know that with all of this technology training and with all of these different applications, sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. And I want to make sure that everybody on this call understands and knows that there is a solution. If you really want to nail social marketing and mobile technology and want to ultimately have control, then I would highly recommend that you check out the website GetSocialWithC21.com. Now, if you visit GetSocialWithC21.com, this is a website that in partnership with Century 21 Social Networks has prepared and put together. There's a really good video right here that if you were to watch this video, it's about the plight of the real estate agent. It's Rosie, the real estate agent, who's so frustrated with technology, doesn't know necessarily where to go, what to do, that sort of thing. But what you can do is you can visit our site, and I'm going to just quickly log in just to show you what it actually looks like. So I have a test account here that I will log in with. Perfect. So now that we're logged in, you'll notice the Century 21 logo in the top left corner and right under are statistics for me. So you have my name, you have my cell phone number, and then I have completed courses. We give you an idea on the classes and the courses that you've already watched or completed. We want to make sure that you're able to measure your production. We even have certificates achieved. As you complete courses with Century 21, you can earn certificates and we have a great way of making sure that people know that you are out there learning about how to use this great technology, even use its statistics, how many times you logged in, and so on. So I'm gonna click on the training link right under the logo. And now what you'll see is we have various curriculums for you to learn from. So for example, Facebook, this is a way for you to learn how to use social media for increasing your referral business. Online videos, specifically YouTube. We even have a blogging course. We also have an iPad course as well if you wanna learn how to use your iPad. Now, a lot of agents have smartphones. Not too many of them really know how to leverage the mobile technology aspect of it. So you can click or tap right here where it says mobile technology and we include some really cool applications. One of the things that we talked a little bit about was Yelp and we have that here for mobile applications. But as a company, we are always continuously adding more training content just to make sure that you're ahead of the game. So if you clicked right here where it says new videos, you'll see that we have other videos that are being uploaded every couple of weeks. And if you don't, if you missed some of the earlier recordings, that's perfectly fine. You can tap right here or click where it says recordings and you can access some of the previously recorded videos. So it's a great resource for you to stay ahead of the competition and more importantly, know how to use this technology to close more deals. So if you've been looking for a solution that's going to help you, then get social with C21 without a doubt is the answer for you. Now, as a member of Century 21, you qualify for a special discounted rate. By visiting GetSocialWithC21.com, what you'll notice is that you can come directly to the site, click on where it says Online Courses, and as soon as you click on Online Courses, you have two choices. Either you can register for only $29 per month, or when you purchase, when you add to cart, we give you an option to say, would you like to pay for the entire year of service for only $295? So it's a discounted rate, one-time fee, that's 12 months of service. Most commonly asked question is, well, what if I wanna renew? Well, then you renew at the 295 price. If you are a non-Century 21 member and if you visited our website, you can purchase our program for $548 for the year. So it's a significant savings by signing up as a Century 21 member. Now, one of the other things that it also includes our service is that we post on your Facebook business page for you three times per week. So when you sign up with us, you'll get a phone call, we'll walk you through the process, we'll get it set up for you. And the other thing is you also have access to live support. So as a member with century21.com or a member with social networks, you can simply chat with us, chat with a live person, or click on the contact us button and we give you our office number so you can contact us during normal business operating hours. So again, it's a great resource for you. Get social with C21.com. I wanna thank everybody who was on this call. 
I do look forward for anybody who joins our network. And if you have any questions along the way, please make sure that you reach on out to us directly. We thank you for joining us for this presentation today, and we do look forward to having you join us for the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Again, John Reyes with Social Networks.